Millennium Media Yes Christo Millennium Media Yes Oh It was a Millennium Millennium Media Yes Christo Millennium How many years now? Well I think it's been 21 years 21 years Wow Which video was that? Because the sound is still good You forgot about it This is Hit Digital Studio That was Hit eh? Yeah Morris 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 and Did Morris do this recording? Well actually Morris didn't produce it But it was Atta Okay, yeah, yeah. And, 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 uh, and Morris and Roberto recorded the, 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 yeah, the, the, the entire sound and everything. Mm. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Mm. I, and why is Vivian? <laughs> <laughs> Vivian is in the States now. She's not there. Uh, uh, she's actually doing uh, professional mm. music. Okay, so, okay, so, so after, after this one, was it an album? Yes, this one was a full, was full album. album. It was a full album. Okay. Of uh, eight tracks. Okay. So this mm. this one was released in the year two thousand. Mm. After this one, and there was a, another album released in two thousand one. But okay. so unfortunately, that really didn't do well. Oh, okay, okay, yes. okay. Mm. So after the one that didn't do well, and uh, no, Bambu, you see it. <laughs> <laughs> not really, not really, <laughs> uh, not really. Uh, you know, when we released um, Radifi. Mm. Um, I was in level, uh, I think, three hundred. Oh, you were a student then? Yes, okay. Yes, okay. I was, student. Okay. I was mm -hmm. in level 300. Mm -hmm. So after that, we were posted. So the focus changed a little bit. Okay. We had to focus on our career mm -hmm. for some time. Then when I was at my station, okay. I was still writing music. Mm -hmm. So two years after, I decided to further my education, education okay. so uh, actually that really took me out yeah, of music. Yeah. That time you were Eddie, yes, yes Eddie. Yes, now yes. I see your new album and you have a doctor Eddie, uh, are you yes. a medical doctor? <laughs> <laughs> People ask that question yeah, a lot. Uh, yeah. By the grace of God, after my first degree, I went to KNUFD okay. uh, to pursue my MBA okay. in Human Resource Management. Mm. And uh, after that, I went to University of Ghana, where I read uh, Master of Arts okay. and Master of Philosophy. So after the Master of Philosophy, I was nominated to pursue my Doctor of Philosophy. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I completed my PhD program in 2017. Wow, wow, wow! <laughs> then you're making money. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so that long break, you were just concentrating on. Uh, Education, mm, school, education. Or you know, Kofi, there are a lot of there are a lot of issues in life. Mm. Uh, life is all about planning. You need to plan. Mm. So the attention shifted a little bit from music to other issues other in issues. life, okay. like investment, um, okay. family, okay. education. Mm. But you see, all these while I've been very active in church. Oh, yes, oh, I've okay. been very active. Okay. Okay. So in terms of church are you music. A pastor? By the grace of God, I am. I'm he also is a, a pastor, yes. music pastor. Music oh, pastor, wow, yes. wow, wow. That's good. Okay, so um, after staying for that long, what song did you bring out? Well, I think. Because uh, I have Jesus there. Yes. You sent that song to me. Yes. But it was something different. The genre. Mm. was different from the Eddie that I know because uh, I told the Eddie was a hard life person. So, uh, you and music, let me take you back again. Mm. How did everything start? Music actually started from childhood. Okay. You know, my dad was a musician. He wasn't a professional musician okay. though. Uh, my mom also sings. Okay. So, let me say everyone in the family uh, actually Is sings. Yes. Mm -hmm. So for me, it started in the 90s, okay. one when secondary school, we used to rap uh, some of these worldly songs, yeah. Naughty by Nature, oh, oh, so, oh, oh, so you did Naughty by Nature? Shabarang, the Tribe Do you remember any line? Any ah, hip-hop oh, hey, oh, hip So it started hey, from there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we used to do rap competition and all that. Mm. Mm. Then um, late 90s, I started mm. playing musical instruments. So I started with keyboards. Okay. Then around um, '98, I started learning mm. the bass guitar, then mm. drums, then flutes. Okay. So in the process, I realized that 
I could also sing well. Okay. Initially, I wasn't singing. I was always uh, playing. People were singing. I would play. Okay. Okay. So one day, I did something in church, mm. and they were like, uh, I have uh, that talent, so I also Sorry, occasionally I have mm. to sing. Mm. So it started from there. So I actually I mean, mm. started singing mm. little mm. by little. And in 97, we formed a non-denominational um, group and I was the music director. So that, okay. that was where the career started. Mm. So, you know, it was around that time that uh, we were deep-rooted in uh, the songs of uh, Kate Franklin, Alvin Slaughter, yeah, yeah, Ron Kinoli. Yeah, contemporary gospel exactly, music. Mm. Exactly, mm. exactly. So that, that, that was where the talent was well-tuned. Okay, yes. okay, wow. Okay, so, um, was it quite challenging those times uh, as a young man in school trying to do music? Uh, what were some of the challenges that you faced? Well, it was. It was. Mm. It was. Um, there were always, I mean, clashes here and there. I remember okay. one day I had a paper. I had semantics of English to write. Mm. And the following day, to, there was a program. And I, I think, no, the day before the paper, there was a program. So when I told them that I wanted to go 